welcome back to the Benches on Tube. Today I'm going to be doing another educational um, video, entering the last video, um, inequalities. Um, so we had again, as I said in the last video, Pokemon video review. Watch it if you can. Um, I said that um, we had some technical difficulties with the recording. And we had to shut it down early. Like, it just stopped. So anyways, this is a continuation, just like the last one. Except it's, uh, you know, different. Um, we have, uh, like, decent camera work, but our videos are still awesome. So anyways, we're just gonna get to on, on to it. Get, yeah, get on to it. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, um, let's move on to the thing. Also, we're going to be adding a, a new type of format of education on this, a new type of format of math on that, on the inequalities, just a jump start for 6th graders, coordinate plane, after the uh, inequality equation. So anyways, let's move on to it. And so, um, here we are. And this is the equation we um, left off from. So we'll start by removing all the mistakes I made and making the basis of what I said earlier. So of course, we combine like terms. If you've seen the other videos of, um, of stuff like this, if you've seen other equalities or inequality videos I've done, it's that I've always combined like terms. And you'll see in all sorts of algebra, um, pre-algebra, um, books and all sorts of stuff. So, I always like to do it like, bring something over here. You can do it many ways. You can, many ways. You can bring it over, um, the, um, coefficient to here. You can bring the, um, variable number over here, or you can bring it over there, the constants over there, coefficients, you know, any way you want. But how I like to do is bring it, like, like in this area. Make the, um, first, um, number stay, then bring the 2y, it becomes a, a negative, greater than 3 plus 6. So, it would be 3y take away 2y. It would be 1y. 3 plus 6, 9. So basically what we'd have to do is divide the 1. would cancel itself out. And over here, divide, which would be 1. Y would be greater than 9. And if I want to do it in a um, number line, I'll simply do this. Let's just say 9 is over here. Anything Y would be greater than um nine so anything that's greater than nine would be equiv would be um equal to the, the y so let's just say 10 could be um greater than 9 11 21 any integer that's greater than 9 sorry So it would go up. Anything else? So it could be 10, 21, 11, 12. All sorts of stuff. Remember, these are inequalities. Multiple possibilities. It determines if it's a greater than or less than sign. So multiple possibilities. Different probability, etc., etc. Okay, and here is the next problem.
this isn't entirely different from um our equalities and inequalities it's more like a sixth grade kind of slash to um kind of slash to seventh grade work so whoever doesn't want to do this just pause the video or something but still subscribe um if you were just there for the inequalities it's okay but this one is morely mainly for sixth graders it's called coordinate plane core If I'm spelling it right. I think I'm spelling it right. Coordinate. Play. Yep, I'm spelling it right. That I spell. So, coordinate plane is basically on a graph. And at Drifius. My words aren't working right now. I don't know why. Um, and it basically determines, you know, coordinates. Have you ever heard of coordinates? And there are different types of ways to graph stuff. You can graph, um, you graph inequalities, which is what I showed you in the last problem. And on coordinate plane, it's two um, two lines that are called axes so this is the x axis and the y axis so basically those those two coordinates when you put the two coordinates together they make a special um types of numbers on the grid so it can in sometimes it can help you find places or in math you just solve a problem like this and there are some co things called intercepts or leaner um leaner question equations um come from intercepts um they um create intercepts in coordinate planes we'll get onto that eventually so anyways um we're going to be um placing the points and doing quadrants. I'll get into what quadrants are in the moment. Momento. One moment. So they, um, you know, do all that stuff. So, first we'll be doing find eight, the, um, eight to, um, nine coordinate. I say eight to nine. Um, um, coordinate. So first, if you notice, first of all, <coughs> <coughs> the eight to nine coordinate is a um quadrant one. It's a quadrant one, and there are different quadrants. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I was with a mild allergies. Well, allergies come from sneezing. You incurs to sneezing, but whatever. Um, anyways, quadrants are basically sectors of different, of the coordinate grid, specifically the coordinate plane, and those different sectors are called quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, And quadrant four. These are the common Roman numerals. So anything that's positive, like I just say four three coordinate would be a quadrant um, one. Anything that's a a mm, Let's just say three to negative four coordinate is a is a um, quadrant four. Anyways, 
anything to a quadrant 3 is all negatives. So negative 5. So anyways, let's just say negative 5, negative 5, negative 5 x, negative 5 y are um, in the quadrant 3. Quadrant 3 is all negative. Quadrant 4 is positive negative the um x um axis is axis is um positive and the y axis is um negative there um for both of the axes um they're um negative both of them are positive and for coordinate um the coordinate um quadrant um 2 it's the um x axis is negative and the y axis is positive it would be negative four just given negative no no sorry five so with negative four to five yeah that five was a disgrace disgrace the whole fives still a disgrace So, anyways, these are all the types of squadrons. Let's just get onto this quickly. So, back to the um, coordinate. So, 8, 9 would be over to um, this area since it's quadrant 1. So, the eight would be sorry. The eight would be right over here in this area. And then it would go up to nine. Let's just imagine nine is there. Now I'm just gonna change it. Eight to seven. So that coordinate um seven would be up here, and we connect the um line. We connect um the coordinates, the um the axes in uh, the each um x and y axes. So it would be up to here in this area. That would be um. Eight um seven the eight seven eight x and seven y. So negative four um three um and a, a half would be down up here actually. Sorry, small board. Don't have much room. So anyways, negative four would be x. Right here, and three and a half would be right in this area. So we connect these points, we would get we would get that um, number. We would get the um, the um coordinate so so um guys sorry i know i connected this one but i was i didn't have much space to connect um the um first question the um quadrant one question so if i would do that i'd have to race more and this video will take up too much time so but you don't always have to draw lines when you make a grid because sometimes you can just already look at the um points and just try to just calculate where they are and point the thing but if you want to make a line just to make it simpler and more adequate and you know average then be my guest so anyways this is the entire format um we'll move on to more of this i want to try and give you guys intercepts i want to try and see if i could give you guys intercepts that would be for another video so that's the end of it.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and share this. We are at a thousand subscribers, and I'm so happy. If um, none of you guys have seen the thing, and we're very um thankful, thankful for what you guys have given us. Um, thanks to you guys, we're at a thousand. So here it is. The next video will probably be next week. So um. Watch out for M Race's um, videos. In the meantime, watch the next videos and the other videos. Go back and see if you like them. Have a nice day.